Well, one of my favorite things was looking through some of the letters that I found in the archives. And then I was reading the diary entries of of how a parent had met James Hawkins at lunch that day at the school. And it, it just transported me back to that time, back in the early 1900s, and, and how the school was viewed, and how it just seemed to rise above every other school in the area. And, but hearing it through her written words, and the story she would tell about her son and you know the interaction with James Hawkins, it, it just it really moved me. While we were working on the book, one of the real fun parts for both of us is doing the research and going into the archives and reading about the history, but it's also interviewing people that have, have lived that history. So there were a lot of stories that resonated with, with us, but one in particular that um, we just got so much joy out of with our interview with Jock Collins, who went to Hawken in the 20s. He is going to actually turn 100 the same month that Hawken School turns 100. And we, we were able to go and read his character cards, the character cards that were written about him when he was a student. And when we interviewed him, we saw how amazingly accurate those teachers, when he was a child, nailed him and here he is when we interviewed him 99 years old and we could see the reflections that were in those character cards about him. One of the teachers had said that Jock was not a natural leader but none of the boys would do anything without his approval. He was kind of iconoclastic and built a log cabin by himself when he was in his 80s. He, you know, he had a purple heart in World War II and said he had hit his thumb with a hammer and it hurt worse than the bullet wound he had in World War II. He's low-key, but, but he's very intelligent and has lived a wonderful life. And they knew that. I mean, they saw that in him when he was a student. That's what, that's what we loved about not only being able to read the history, but then to look back at this man's life and to see how well they, they got it when, when he was there. And I think that the teachers and people around Hawken are getting that today. And I, I, I know that some of the students that we met they, they would uh, accurately describe what they're going to be. Not so much in what they're going to do, but how they're going to live their life when, they, when they're 99 years old, if they're that lucky to live so long, so well. <laughs>